He is a genuine legend of both country music and cannabis with a new album called First Rose of Spring, available now. Please welcome the one and only Willie Nelson. Thank you, thank you. How you doing? I'm good, brother. Let me ask you a question now. I know that you have a place in Maui. Do you prefer the surf and turf? Do you prefer the surf of Maui to live or the turf of Austin to live? Where do you feel more comfortable? No, well, you know, I'm, I've been kind of spoiled. I can kind of take the best of both worlds there. I would love to go to Maui now, but with all the, you know, all the BS going on around the, uh, the world, it's hard to get there. And then you got to quarantine a while and all that. Right. So I, I love Maui, but uh, I'm in a pretty good spot right here. With someone like you, like, so cannabis is so widely a- a- accepted now, marijuana. Uh, is it shocking to you to see how how well it's being received? No, I always knew that uh, people would uh, realize its benefits. And I think now that it's like in 30 states, uh, medicinally, it's uh, legal. And uh, in a lot of states, uh, recreationally, it's legal. So uh, it, it's on the way. And uh, I think it's a good thing. You know, there's so many benefits of uh, cannabis, you know, health, uh, appetite, uh, anxiety, um, forgetting things, but it, it, medic- medically, it's a, it's a good thing, isn't it? It's a good thing to forget things, I think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you remember? Do you remember the first joint that you ever smoked? You know, I have been smoking something all my life. I started out smoking when I was just a kid: grapevines, uh, cedar bark. Uh, and then I got to Bull Durham. And, uh, <laughs> so all along, I was uh, smoking something. And then I got to uh, where I realized that my lungs were caving in. So oh. I had to quit something. So I wasn't getting high on Chesterfield. So I threw them away and rolled up 20 big fat joints, stuck it in my pocket. And I haven't <laughs> had a cigarette since. My man, exactly. Thank you. So I know in December that... Uh, I saw it on a scroll, but people tripped out because I think you said that you were going to quit smoking marijuana and the whole world went upside down. <laughs> right? <laughs> I read that somewhere and, uh, and I had a nice laugh about it. Yeah, because, you know, once Snoop has anointed you, because uh, I think you outsmoke Snoop. <laughs> He's you know, tough. That, that's like the Pope telling you're a good Catholic. The uh, <laughs> so so I had the honor of meeting. I know he was a good friend of yours, uh, Merle Haggard. Yes, he really and, was. And he invited me into his uh, bus. And when I walked in, there was a wonderful smell of marijuana. And I went over and I talked to him. He was from Oil Dale. I had some relatives that live out there. We started talking, and I smoked. And then he passed around the bottle of George Dickel. And I look for a glass. He's like, we're country folks. We're not much on glasses. So I'm there smoking <laughs> and drinking George Dickel from the bottle. And about an hour and a half, he says to his wife, how was the show, honey? And she goes, Merle, we haven't, you haven't done the show yet. <laughs> so yeah, my I question is, yeah. can you be too high, Willie? Can, you be, can someone be too high? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can be too drunk. You can be too high. Uh, Sure, uh, I've been too high before, and I realized it pretty quick. Yeah, you know, so Merrill walked on stage with the cowboy hat and the glasses, didn't miss a beat, which was amazing, you know. Uh, but have you been on stage and not known where you were? Yeah, I have smoked too much before a show, and uh, I, I don't remember the town, but I do remember that I wasn't able to do a show. I walked out there and said sorry and went back to the bus, <laughs> and I came... <laughs> <laughs> I came back about a month later and uh, said, uh, I think I remember being here before. So you stayed in that bus, bus a month and then you came back out? No. Uh, well, I had other <laughs> dates to play. So so this is your 70th, 70th album. Congratulations. Thank um, you. What, what, what do you like about this music? What would we, what would we like about this album, Willie? Well, I did it. Uh, this is my 15th album with Buddy Cannon as my producer. Uh, he and I worked so well together, writing and uh, recording. And uh, I think this particular album has a lot of good songs on it 
uh, the title song, First Rose of Spring, is a great song. Uh, and in fact, all the songs on there are good. Yesterday, when I was young, closed it out the album. And that's always been a nice standard. When you were growing up, was you, who was musical in your family? Well, my sister, Bobby, and I, uh, she was a great, is a great piano player. And we've been playing music together all our lives. And uh, she taught me a lot. Uh, she could read music early. And I would sit on a piano stool next to her. And while she was playing songs like Stardust and Moonlight in Vermont, and I was learning them as she was playing them. So it must be even more special now that, you know, you've done some work with your sons, like the song you're going to perform, you're going to perform with your kids. Oh, it's great. It's great working with the boys. Working with all the kids is good. Uh, I've got some talented kids. I, I, I appreciate that. Do they all play the guitar or do they have the piano? How many instruments do you play? Well, I, you know, play at the guitar, but that's about it. Uh, but no, uh, Luke and Micah can play piano. Uh, they play pretty good piano, drums and uh, practically anything. Uh, here in my uh, living room here, I've got yeah. all kind of instruments. I've got guitars and pianos. And so they were around musical instruments all their lives. And I didn't push them. I just kind of let them drift into it as they wanted to, and uh, yeah. they had really done well. Well, you know, you have one of those unmistakable sounds that from the minute the guitar chord is struck, everybody knows it's you, so. Well, that's, that's Trigger, yeah, that's. Yeah, <laughs> that's Trigger, baby. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love you, Willie, thank you, man. Thanks for being my guest. My pleasure, good to talk yes, to you. Cuidate, gracias, and when we come back, music from Willie Nelson. 